Join us for two days trek to Imlil before we climb Mount Tubkal. We go through Berber villages affected by the 2023 earthquake, visit the Igaludin waterfall, find goats and go off the beaten track through the national park. Hi, join me in Morocco and I am doing the climb to Mount Tupacal which is four days and it's the highest point in North Africa and we are literally just starting our trek. Hello. Hello. And this one is the thing. I don't work. So behind us is a village that was really badly affected by the earthquake. And now we're going into the national park. In here there's oak and cedar and pine trees. And uh, some trees. So this is the juniper. You're gonna work for me, you're gonna bring me. Like a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the So we've come from that side and now we're going this way and uh, behind us is where we're gonna stop for lunch. It's about 40 minutes till lunch. And it's super windy this side of the valley. Oh wow. Ah. So we've stopped for lunch and this is our picnic spot. And then there's where the food is being made. I'm not sure what we're having, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's amazing. Mmm, oh. yum. <coughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh, no. This is our lunch. We have got pasta and tagine and cheese and bread and some fish. It's delicious. Our lunch was delicious. It was so nice and now the rain has gone and we have this beautiful scenery and we're walking for about an hour, hour and a half and it's much flatter now. There is some snow up on the mountain. So this behind me is for baking Berber bread and this is for boiling water. And again, we're in another tent village where people were affected by the earthquake. That's the bathroom. Hi dog. Hello. Oh, he's a bit nervous. He's my dog. <laughs> this is so cool. This village is lovely. In fact, I don't think it's a village at all. I think it might be a town. This is our lovely geet where we are staying tonight. This is our bedroom. Um, this is the living room. There's our guide. And this is where we're gonna eat. This is our bathroom. And we have an actual shower. 
Good morning, it's day two of our trek. Today we have a nine hour day and we are going from 8 Asa to Iku Lida Waterfalls uh, to Tizi Mizik for lunch and then we will finish at Imlil. We've just had breakfast and we've eaten so much food. It was amazing. We had porridge, eggs, bread, and we've had tea, coffee. Oh, it's been delicious and I'm so excited for it. We're going to leave this valley behind us, which is where we stayed. And then we're going to see this village and then up there, is a frozen waterfall. I've seen pictures of the waterfall, it looks amazing. I'm so excited to see it. We've done a long climb from there up here and we just keep climbing slow and steady. We're climbing up this track alongside these mountains. It's absolutely amazing and it's so different to yesterday. It's not like anything else I've seen so far. It's really beautiful. It feels very alpine. We've now climbed right into the nook of the valley and ahead of us is a nomad village. So these people stay here part of the year and then they move around and they've built terraces for growing grains and they have cows and goats and they live in these houses, but only some of the time. And uh, our guide was saying they move further down the valley. We're now where the village is. That's where we've come from. And we've just been steady climbing all the way. We're now 7,477 feet in altitude. And this is 3,500 meters to the top. But we're not going to the top. We go to the waterfall and then we go back on ourselves a bit and then go behind there. I think we must be getting close now to the waterfall. We're so close now. We're just on the final bit and that is the big waterfall. Yeah! Nearly made it. We made it. <laughs> There's the waterfall, it is 60 metres from the top to the bottom, and in the bottom is ice. And this is where we've come from, and this is the way we need to go back. So lovely, I'm so glad we came to see this. Off we go! Yalla holla!
now we're on our new path we're going this way and we came from there and we'd been that way to go to the waterfall so new territory we've been walking now for three hours and 40 minutes we've done 5.8 miles and we're going up and over and then we will stop for lunch so there is the red valley where we stayed last night and we are now going this way we've been walking up this long steep incline for quite a while and we can finally see where we're going through there along that trail not long till lunch time He's trying to steal my hat. We are uh, at the top of the pass and we're about to go over. I'm pleased because I'm a little hungry. It's been five hours and eight miles. I'm carrying Aziza's coat because she's not feeling 100%. She's finding it quite hard today. And it, it has been really hard going. She's done absolutely amazing. We've just been feeding her sweets and making sure she drinks so that she's okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> and donkeys. Woo. Oh, she's Look at this, we get orange juice on the top of the pass, completely unplanned as well, which makes it even better. Oh. <laughs> the coats! <laughs> Hello! Oh, wow! Here we go, we're making our way down for lunch in the village down the bottom. So, not long to go and there'll be food. I'm really hungry. It is now 20 to 3 and after food we still have a little way to go to um, Imlil and that will be our final stop for tonight. We're here for lunch and we're not in the village down there like I thought. We are in our own little camp. Isn't this cute? <laughs> this is our food today. We've got lentils and rice and vegetables and bread. And it's so, so good. I have two good news. One is we are walking in the sun so we will warm up because it got really cloudy just after we'd finished our lunch and the other one is that is Imlil I did not know that and that is why we had our lunch there um, so we don't have far to go at all until we get to tonight's geet We're coming into Imlil and we're walking along this lovely path and it's like a, almost like a park. It's really, really nice. We're here, we've made it to our geet. This is it. Look at how amazing this is. This whole place is the Imlil Valley. Um, Somewhere up here is Tuka. We're here at Agit where we're staying tonight and we've actually been to the shops to get fizzy drinks and chocolate. 
So on the track so far, we've been doing the Berber Villages, which is actually different to the track most people do. So most people do um, Imlil straight up to Tubkal and back, whereas we've done some different bits that aren't so touristy. But this place is super touristy, so there's loads of shops, loads of guest houses, um, totally different vibe. But I'll give you a quick tour. So this is our room for tonight. We've got a really nice bathroom with a shower. And this is upstairs in our geet in Limel. It's really nice. Join us next video for part two, climbing the Two Cow Mountain.